Hello, everyone, and welcome to our 2022 Summer Reading Program Virtual Film Series. This year's theme is Oceans of Possibility. My name is David, and I'm one of the librarians here at Moffitt Library who helped curate this summer selection. If you haven't already seen it, be sure to check out our selected film from last week, Dead Calm, an intense thriller featuring a woman trapped at sea and introducing Nicole Kidman in her first internationally acclaimed role. Our summer reading program is full of activities and events with sandy beaches, towering waves, and daring explorers. So make sure to check out the Oceans of Possibility at your library this summer. We'll be using the streaming service Canopy to showcase each of our selected films. Canopy is completely free with your library card. All you need to do is log in with your library card number and create a free account. Here at Moffitt, you receive five play credits per month to watch anything you like. Once the five credits are exhausted, all you need to do is wait until next month when they automatically refresh for more streaming entertainment. Even better, some parts of Canopy, such as kids content and the Great Courses Lecture Series, do not consume play credits, and you can enjoy those to your heart's content. I've put the link to Moffitt Library's Canopy page in the description if you wanna get started right away. Otherwise, you can visit our website, moffittlibrary.org, at any time to use Canopy and our other great online resources. Each, month, uh, each Monday during the summer reading program, I've been posting video introductions to our selected films to discuss some of their history, context, and highlights. All you need to do is grab a snack, queue up the film on Canopy, and enjoy some great movies at home. Today's film is the last in our series. It's the 1944 comedy classic, The Princess and the Pirate from Samuel Goldwyn Productions. This is the same Goldwyn of Metro Goldwyn Meyer fame. Starring Bob Hope as a cowardly actor masquerading on a pirate ship and Virginia Mayo as a princess fleeing an arranged marriage, The Princess and the Pirate is a charming romp with plenty of swashbuckling, treasure hunts, and Hope's personal brand of comedy. The Princess and the Pirate is particularly notable, apart from being a fine example of a classic Bob Hope comedy, for demonstrating one of the more unusual features of filmmaking during the golden age of Hollywood. Most creative teams and actors were contract workers, staying with the same production company for year after year and only working in the house. Despite this, many studios would offer to trade actors for specific projects. Hope famously worked for Paramount, but Samuel Goldwyn was able to borrow Hope for a couple of weeks in exchange for a sum of money and the services of Goldwyn actor Gary Cooper. Cooper's service for Paramount as part of the deal resulted in the celebrated 1943 adaptation of Ernest Hemingway's uh, novel, For Whom the Bell Tolls. Hope rather cheekily breaks the fourth wall in The Princess and the Pirate with a line near the end of the film that references this practice. See if you can spot it. Filming for The Princess and the Pirate took place right in the middle of Hope's long running Road 2 series of films in collaboration with Bing Crosby and Dorothy L'Amour. These road films, such as the 1940 Road to Singapore, were musical comedy adventure films, all featuring exotic locations, running gags, and satires of popular Hollywood films. This film features many of the same aspects, and if you like it, you should definitely check out any of Hope and Crosby's road films as well. Be sure to keep an eye out at the end for a surprise cameo from another famous actor. The Princess and the Pirate predates the modern MPAA rating system, but was approved under the Hays Code for general audiences. With only some brief violence, the film would today be considered rated G or a mild PG. We hope you enjoy The Princess and the Pirate. Thanks for joining us during the Moffitt Library Summer Reading Program. Please feel free to continue using Canopy for more thoughtful entertainment in the future. 
have a great summer. Goodbye. <laughs>